Hello YouTube, my name is Victor and uh, welcome aboard. Uh, I'm a flight attendant and uh, I post every week about travel tips and how to travel in better conditions. Uh, if you want to know a little bit more about me, here's a link to my other, no it's this way, a link to my uh, other videos. Uh, and um, well, welcome aboard. Thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to talk about turbulence on board, uh, but uh, there's done quite a lot of research around turbulence and I'm going to try to cover as much as I can but because there's so much content I'll have to split this video in two so uh, next week will be the second part I invite you to subscribe to my channel you don't have to pay for that and then you don't have to watch my videos for that the only thing when you hit subscribe next time you go on YouTube uh, my video will come on the top of your screen so you can decide if you want to watch it or not and it's free so it's great there's nothing free about nowadays so turbulence what it is um, I got often the question on board why is the wing getting a little bit moved is shaking. It looks like the wing is going up or down. Is it bending? Yes, a wing is supposed to bend. If you took a big aircraft like the Airbus 380, uh, the wing can bend usually on normal turbulence between two to three to eight, sometimes four meters. So it's, it's quite a lot uh, and it's completely made and designed for this. So there's no worries to have. In severe turbulence, the wing has been designed to be bended up to three to four times this amount. So uh, you can really bend the wind and it won't break. Again, it's been designed for that purpose. Um, so what's uh, important in a turbulence? What's the danger in a turbulence? Well, the plane will not break. The plane has been designed to go through very extreme severe turbulence, so it will not break because of a turbulence. We don't have any history of that happening recently. Those aircraft that have been designed now are very, very strong. But the danger is actually you and your belongings. Uh, if you are not secured to your seat, this is where the bad things will start to happen. So when the seat bell sign is on, you need to be in your seat. If you want to go to the toilet, good idea to wait. Or if you want to go and the seat bell sign is up, well, go at this time because you never know when the turbulence will be coming. Um, but let's say you're on a roller coaster and you're going down. Would you have the idea to remove your harness? What's well, a bit the same thing because if you don't have your harness, that means when your seat will go down the roller coaster, you will continue to go up. Well, in a plane, when a plane descent and then suddenly descent, what will happen is you'll go up and what's right above your head, it's not very far, you've got the overhead bent and the light and the seat bell sign. So um, you don't want to hurt that because you don't want to have any uh, commotion and it's important you keep your seatbelt fastened even if the seat bell sign is off. We can't force you to have it, but we highly recommend it. You don't have to fasten it so tight you can't breathe, you can extend a little bit and if you need ice cream extension seatbelt, if you need a little bit more comfort, that's completely fine, but make sure it's not loose enough so you won't hit the roof. Very important for kids and children and infants and anybody who won't do it by themselves uh, because usually younger uh, adults and kids will fly much higher and much quicker than you and will reach the ceiling and uh, if you have a baby on the bassinet make sure the baby is actually secured in a correct way so ask your flight attendant how to do so. Your belongings also are very dangerous because they will fly and then it can hit you. So it's not the plane that's going to break and create like your face bleeding and anything. It's actually anything around you that's not secured may fly everywhere. Could be a tray table. So make sure that anything that you have loose on your table that you don't need, uh, put it in the seat pocket or under the seat in front of you uh, in the bag and then everything will be safe and you're less risk to be injured. Again, the danger is actually you and your belongings, not the aircraft itself. Can we plan turbulence? Uh, most of them we know about them. Uh, they will appear on the flight plan when we check the weather uh, en route. So uh, usually we know, uh, we have a good idea when they're gonna happen. Uh, but sometimes, unfortunately, we don't know. Some of them we can see if it's a day flight. There's a kind of uh, clouds called columbus and then those ones are quite visible and we can, we can recognize them. So we know if we go through them, actually we'll feel the turbulence. Uh, but if it's dark at night and it was not on a flight plan, it's always a surprise. What pilots do is, uh, you know, planes are going on a kind of invisible highway in the sky. So a plane will not decide to go a little bit more left, a little bit more right, up or down. They have to go on a specific route. It's invisible, but it's on a flight plan. And if an aircraft is going through a route and feel unexpected turbulence, they will share the information to all the planes that are behind it. So they know that's coming up. So most of the time we know about turbulence, but it's always some unexpected ones, and it could be just for a few minutes. But that's why it's important to keep your seatbelt fastened when you sit it. But what are turbulences? Well, Imagine you're driving a car on a motorway and you feel the wind moving your car shifting a little bit from left to right. 
it's exactly the same thing it's just a wind uh, and the only difference a plane can go left to right but can also go up and down uh, so sometimes people call it air pockets and what's What's an air pocket? It actually doesn't exist. It's not pockets of air. It's air or water pretty much, and that's pretty much it. There's nothing else. There's no water pocket in the sea. So an air pocket, what people call an air pocket, is where we descend suddenly. It's just because that the wind have pushed us a little bit and we have to drop the descent or uh, go a little bit on the side. So that's what people call air pocket, but actually it's just a change of altitude. It's sudden, uh, but usually it's not that high, but this is what you feel and could be a little bit scary if you're not used to it, but you don't have to worry about it. Again, the plane will not break. And this is it. Thanks a lot for watching me today. Uh, next week I'll post the second part of the video. If you can't wait to hear more about uh, flying tips, well, uh, I've put a playlist with all the videos that I recorded here. And then in the meantime, I'll see you uh, in a week. Thanks. Bye.